Hi, Taurus. Welcome to my channel, Venetian Talking Tarot. Um, I'm new to the platform, so be sure to help me out to make my channel grow. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends and family. Um, you know, just kind of just spread the word. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so Tori, this is jump right into it. I uh, meditated a little bit before I started shuffling, and I just I'm just hearing, um, you know, I love you, I love this other person, but this other person that I knew before you was so loyal to me. They loved me. They had my back. They were beautiful, strong. Everything that I could ask for. I mean, here you are. With this connection I've never felt before. And I'm stuck or confused. What should I do? Okay, so Taurus, you're confused. Okay, so let's get to the bottom of it. We're going to pull from the Moonology, Jack. It's a new moon. Make sure to uh, manifest your new beginnings, your what you want for the future. Um, any intentions that you already set, make sure they come to fruition on this date. A new moon is Scorpio. What's up? Okay, so the Taurus is feeling indecisive or cool between two people. I feel like this person has probably like three women that they're trying to decide between. They just don't know. They confuse poor ones. But I play too many fucking games. I mean, I saw What's up with the torn spirit? Tell me about these torns. What's up with the torns and love? So, I want to say that my readings are timeless. If I ever put a date on them, just know that they're timeless. They work really for any time. What's going on with the Taurus spirit? What can you tell me about the Tauruses? What can you tell me about the Taurus? What's going on with the Tauruses? Give me messages about the Taurus. Give me messages about the Taurus. Let's see. Taurus. What's going on with the Taurus? On this new moon in Scorpio. And, uh, okay. We have confidence is key to success. Okay. And then we have... Oh. Sorry, have faith in your dreams. So you need to have faith in the decision that you're making to us. About whatever you're making the decision, you need to have faith. Alright, so that's it. We have you are good enough at the bottom of the deck. So we have here a new moment to start the beginnings. We have it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. And then we have emotions are running high. Uh, super moon. So these are the cards that fell out, and at the bottom of the deck, um, you are good enough. I feel like what I'm picking up here for my Torrens is that, you know, um... Somebody is trying to find the courage to move forward. Somebody was there for them in the past. They had probably longevity with, a lot of love with, built a lot of things with. But they just feel like this person um, is not meant to go on a certain path with them. They feel like they should move forward. And even if there is three women involved, one of the women, even though they have... This could be an ex. Okay, so there could be... Two women involved in the past that this person was dealing with that meant a lot to them. One woman in particular, I don't know why I'm feeling that it's on the side that they care about, that was on the side of the main woman that they cared about a lot. But they have a new person here with a new woman that's a cycle begins that they really love so much. And they just know this person is meant for them. They know that they can... This person just fits with them, but they feel guilty. They feel bad. I'm sorry if you hear me cry. But I'm an empath and I feel everything. They feel bad because they have to move forward. 
they feel like, um, you know, this person, um, knows that it's time to take action to, toward, um, what they feel, you know, because they love this new person so much, um, and their emotions are running high. They feel like this person is meant for them. And they're not sure if they're good enough from everything they did in the past. They're not sure how things will turn out, but they just know that they have to move forward. They have to take that risk because um, if they don't, they're just forever feeling regret. And no matter what happens um, with this new person, they will always um, love this other person. No matter what, you know? All right, let's see. Oh, of course, you have a lot going on here. A lot of deep emotion surfacing. It could be because of this new moon, but. That's your friends have you fell out on top of the it's time to take action card. So your friends can be telling them that it's time to take action toward the person you love. You can always have love for the past person or persons, but somebody could be the one for you towards so you feel they feel you're the one for them and they want to move towards you. They want to make things happen. They're tired of waiting. So let's see, Taurus. What's the romance angel trying to say regarding Taurus? What's coming out for my Taurus on this new moon? And now, what's coming out for my Taurus? This new moon is Scorpio. November 2020. November 15, 2020. New moon in Scorpio for my Taurus. What's coming out? Show me the cards I see, Spirit. Show me the cards I see, please. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, for my Taurus. Okay. Yeah, heart to heart conversation at the bottom of the deck. The messages that we have for my Taurus. Thank you. Romantic feelings, yes. Alright, okay. So we have, um, Playfulness at the bottom of the deck. Okay. We have romantic feelings that popped out. We have healing family issues here. And we also have stay optimistic about your love life. So somebody here is faithful um, with the faith card that somebody um, is meant for them. They feel these romantic feelings. You are the real. You are real and worth exploring. Somebody feels that this new love is worth exploring. You know, somebody could be trying to heal family issues. They could be in something and trying to end it or heal it. Or heal themselves so that they can move forward here. With this person that they love. They're trying to stay optimistic about this love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. This person is very faithful that this person is the one. Their emotions are running high for this person. They feel like it's time to take action. So they feel like it's time to move forward toward this person. They're trying to build that confidence to feel that they're good enough to move forward toward this person. Don't let your past hold you back in reverse. They are not allowing the past to hold them back any further. They know they have to move forward. You know, they haven't been in communication with this person possibly. Um, they know that they need to be. They've been going within. They know that this person will bring a lot of prosperity and happy, a lot of balance and spirituality to their life. Okay? They're maybe a little scared to make the first move because they are um, hesitant about this powerful change that's going to be taking place. 
after they release a certain person, but they know that this is a move they need to make and they know that somebody will be hurt behind it, but they feel like that's something they need to do. I'm sorry if I'm crying, I'm just trying to, um, I'm feeling the feelings of someone and they really love, um, a past person that was there for them. Wow, I'm sorry, a card flew all the way over there, excuse me. Or two cards flew all the way over there. And breathe in and a sounding sound flew out. So somebody used to breathe in. Somebody's very sad about making this move, but they need it. They don't want to regret it. They don't want to make the wrong move. Somebody's here worried about karma and how they did shit. They know ultimately how they play their hand will be dealt back to them at some point. And they worry about that heavy. They worry about that heavy. But it's not stopping them. They know they need to take action. They need to move forward. They need to play this new beginning out. <sighs> take a risk. So let's see in self-love work. What, what do you have to say for my friends on this new moon in Scorpio, November 15th, 2020? What messages you have for the Scorpios? Show me how to choose. Spirit, show me the cards that you want me to see from the choices, please. So we have at the bottom of the deck, star, good fortune. Wow. Let's see. We have body worship, sacral chakra. Okay. We have soul lesson, trust, root chakra, but it was in reverse, so somebody's not trusting this possibly gift of gratitude, um, heart chakra. Then we have the sacral chakra and the root chakra and the heart chakra. Okay, and then we have at the bottom of the deck, star card. Good fortune. This person views this new person, this new love as the one. And they want to move toward this person. They have clarity about moving toward this person. This person makes them feel like they're the one. They have clarity. Their root chakra. I feel like they're very, they're so obsessed with their root chakra, making money or moving around or whatever it is. That they're out of balance here. They need to get their sacred chakra in in place here. Which rules sexuality, if I'm correct. Number eight and the number one. And the number 15. Gift of gratitude. Heart chakra. They need to open their heart. They need to be grateful. And appreciative of this cycle that was, you know, brought into them. They, they, they're feeling like they need to accept this connection for what it is. They move forward toward it. Before they lose out. Let's see. Messages from the Taurus on this new moon in Scorpio. November 15, 2020. Messages from my Taurus. Please, Spirit, what messages do you have for my twins, please? Yeah, this person feels that they're the one. This is a very friendly connection. This person is going towards you or your person. And they don't want to give up on it. Just period. Messages. Messages for my twins, okay? Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I'm not meditating on the situation. Okay. And I think it's from my turn. On this new moon, we have the King of Cups. A deep love here. A commitment, a deep love. Could be with a Scorpio here. 
a lot of cards throughout. But I'm not going to take it here, but I feel like I should. Yeah, so we have the two of pentacles here. We have the ace of cups, the two of wands, and the knight of pentacles. Somebody's been taking a long time about making a decision on this new love. Okay. You know. Moving towards this new love. Nine of pentacles at the bottom. Do I want to be single? Do I want to move towards this love that fulfills me? That makes me so happy? Or do I just want to stay single? The torn is pulled between two of pentacles and two of wands making decisions about the past and the future. They just don't know. They just don't know. They know they have a deep love for this newer person, romantic feelings that won't go anyway, anywhere. I'm sorry. Give me a few more cards for my twins on this new moon and love tourists. Yeah, they want to take action. They have a deep attraction to this person. Yes, the lovers. They're very highly attracted to this person. The moon, a lot of emotions that they hid that they're now ready to reveal. Here is what I'm getting. And they're ready to take action and have a victory and win. Yeah, judgment at the bottom of the deck of reconciliation. There could be no talking between these two people. They could be in separation here. <sighs> because somebody wasn't trusting the connection. But they're trying to come out. It could have been a long time for making this decision. But they're coming out of it now and they're making that decision. And they're sorry for who gets hurt in the end, but they have to make this decision. Because they know what's best for them, at least for right now. So thank you, Torrance, um, for joining me. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel to help my channel grow, please. And I will be back with another video. Thank you.